Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here. We are in the shave den and we're going to do another shave today. Well, welcome uh, for you new subscribers or you new viewers. Welcome to the shave den for you returning uh, viewers. It's good to have you back. All right. As you know, there are several types of shaving out there that you can do. Uh, some people, you know, they, they like the straight edge razors. Some people like the DE razors. Some people like cartridge razors, and some people like single edge razors. There's a lot of different ways to shave, and everybody has a unique situation. Some people can't use uh, straight edge or DE blades because they're maybe taking blood thinners and they can cut themselves, or maybe you've nicked your face. Uh, as you can see, I've been to the dermatologist and they've done some burnings on me. So sometimes we have to go to, if you want to shave, but you don't want to use the blade because you don't want to open up a wound or you're sunburned or something, we go with the electric razor. Uh, so I, as you saw, I have all types of razors in the shave down here. Uh, I don't use the straight edge because it's a little bit shaky and I don't want to cut myself, but uh, my go-to every day is usually the double edge blades. But on occasion, like I pointed out, uh, people go with the electric. And this is a Braun 7. Uh, it's pretty cool because, you know, you can do your trimming of your sideburns. They're out to the Braun 9 now. Uh, I've had this for hmm, a year and a half, maybe. And every once in a while, I do a shave with it. It's got the pivoting head, so it really follows your face, your contours. I'm going to be using this today. And something I've never done, I think I've done three videos on electric razors. Oh, by the way, I did find my dad's that I was using. This one was my father's, you know, the old school. It's got that, uh, let's see here. Got the, the same trimmer there. Only problem is, is the power pack on this one out, the battery pack. I would have still been using this, but uh, power pack went out, won't hold a charge. Even if you plug it in, it will not work. And these old three head razors, some people prefer them, but I, I used to find they would give me a little bit of a razor burn. But with the foil head, I usually have no trouble. But what I haven't done in the past is use a kind of pre-electric shave with the electric razor. And this brand has been around, it's by Williams, it's been around, you know, since the 50s. And if you look on YouTube, you'll see some classic 50s commercials on there, classic 70s commercials. And for some reason, I've not seen electric razor or electric shave commercials in decades. Now, just maybe in my area, I'm not seeing it. So we're going to use some electric shave today. And the idea is it helps uh, helps the uh, whiskers. get a, You can get a closer shave. In fact, it says closer shave, smoother skin, helps prevent razor burn. So I'm going to use some electric electric shave today. So welcome, and let's get the shave started. Hope your week is going good. We're in the middle of the week. Almost over, almost the Memorial Day weekend, three-day weekend coming up. It's going to be nice. I uh, hope you're going to have a great barbecue. Hope you're going to do something fun, and hopefully you don't have to work. <laughs> so all right, I'm going to put some electric shave in here. It's got like the old barber shop. Oh, got a little burn there where I've got my scars. In fact, I'm gonna put a little more on. And it's supposed to give you less irritation and a closer shave. It's evaporating already. It does smell good. I'm gonna top it off though when I'm done with the shave with some Tommy Bahamas. But let's get the shave started. Sorry about the noise. And with electric razors, against the grain, they get a much closer shave. So I, I you know, everybody's unique. Everybody's angles of hair growth are unique. Uh, each person's different and you'll figure it out yourself. But here we go. Does provide a smoother shave. It's gliding. It 
See the difference already? Really knocks it down. There's the scars. My hair on my neck grows at like a 45 degree angle. It doesn't grow straight down, doesn't go across. It comes out like that. So everybody's hair grows a little different. I'm gonna go with that angle. And then you can see the contouring head kind of follows your face. Okay. I've got a few spots I need to touch up. In fact, I might put a little more electric shave on. Why not? Stuff evaporates. Stuff sure does smell good. Ooh, get a little bit of a burn there now, too. All right. Go this way, too. Yeah, I can see the scar there, see? All right. Oh, very nice. Well, I've just learned, so I'm learning, that I'm going to be using a pre-shave before I use the electric razor. And this is going to be my go-to. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. Got a good shave out of the way. I didn't open up the wounds. I guarantee if I would have used my DE razor, I would have been bleeding here, here. Here, you can see I've got like a little ingrown hair, that would have bled, and I probably would have nicked my neck. But I'm ready to rock, got a smooth shave, and hopefully by the next time I do a video, I'll be able to use a blade again. But I, believe it or not, I get a lot of requests to do electric razor shaves with that brawn, and uh, I hear you. And just so happened coincidentally, we got to do it today. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Your subscriptions are definitely appreciated. And uh, stay safe. We'll see you next time. I almost forgot. <laughs> Someone will say, hey, you didn't put the Tommy Bahamas on. So let's spritz. Oh, there's the burn. Mm. Tommy Bahamas. All right. Somebody would have said you forgot that. I caught myself. All right. We'll see you next time.